Money. People love money. Excuse me, sir. Do you love money? I've not got time for this. Wow. And people will do a lot of crazy things to earn it. So I decided to jump on the trend. I've gathered five of the weirdest side hustles I could find, and I'll be testing all of them with the goal of making a thousand dollars by the end of this video. For this first idea, I went with something everyone loves ice cream. And if there's one place that people are dying for ice cream, it's of course on top of a ski resort. That's right. I drove to the top of a mountain in freezing weather to sell ice cream to all these people. Like this guy. He sure looks like he could use some cooling down. So I set up the stand. Meanwhile, people People looked at me absolutely perplexed, huh? but within moments, people began flocking in. Want some ice cream? Yes. This one here is uh, apple and then Oreo. Can we have two single scoops of Oreo? Okay. Let's just say I'm not exactly a pro at this ice cream making thing. <laughs> it doesn't look too good, but I promise it'll taste good. I'm so sorry. Here you go. Thank you. <sighs> oh my God, I'm freezing. Hello. Here. It's going pretty good here. All right, I'm sorry, it's, it's somehow melted even though we're in the middle of a mountain. While dealing with a flood of customers, I was slowly turning into a literal popsicle. My God, these are not good conditions to make ice cream. <sighs> Five minutes in and my hands went full on tomato mode. I'm fine. But I pushed through, determined to prove that this idea is a gold mine. And wouldn't you know it, there was already a line forming. So I simply went to work. It was going insanely well. I don't really even remember this. I think I blacked out at some point. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Do you maybe want this one instead? Just try to like it. It's good, I promise. Here you go. Been here for 20 minutes, been non-stop traffic. But I may have spoken too early because then I hit a bad slump. You want some ice cream? Good weather for ice cream, right? <laughs> I have an exercise to warm me up. This is how they ski, right? This is how they ski up the mountain, I think. But then I had an idea to get more business. That's better. Ice cream. And we were right back on track. I was practically printing money at this point. Got to a point where it seemed like everyone at the mountain had an ice cream in their hand but unfortunately i ran out of time last ice cream of the day <laughs> here you go so the ski resort is closing like there's basically no one here anymore so we decided to give away the rest <laughs> here you go this was 100 scoops guys 100 scoops of ice cream in a ski resort. I think this business idea is a success. More people should do this. Uh, on to the next idea. Project ice cream was a success, but we almost ran out of inventory. So I thought, what is something you cannot run out of? Clouds. clouds. That's right, we're selling clouds. <laughs> it's a good idea, you'll see. Here's how it works. You take a picture of a cloud in the sky, name it and get a very legal certificate of ownership. So once again, I set up a table in a public place and people were just as puzzled. Have you ever looked at a cloud and been like, damn, I wish I owned it? No. No? Oh, okay, that was my whole pitch. I mean, I get it, it's kind of weird. Yes, we're actually selling clouds. So far, business is slow, but don't you worry, guys, it's gonna pick up relatively soon. And then this legend walked past. You want some clouds? You look like a man who needs a cloud in his life. Okay. So just take a cloud in the sky, I'll take a photo for you. He was on board, so I took the cloud photo. Beautiful. What do you want to name the cloud, man? Uh, Martin. Martin. I need to sign it now. <laughs> yes. We got one, bro. <laughs> we actually sold the cloud. I'm gonna be really honest with you. I didn't expect that to work. And that wasn't the only cloud sold that day. I'll buy this one. Right? All right. And thank you. Bye. Pleasure doing business with you. That's like $3. <laughs> It'll do. It'll do, man. It'll do. And we just kept selling. This made my day. There. Here you go. Cloud nine is officially yours. Okay, that's one muffin the puffin. Thank you. Then this group of women showed up, bought a cloud, and demanded a photo with me. Just got a five dollar bill. 
another sale guys another sale out of nowhere sales started slowing down again clouds guys clouds so i thought maybe if i hit and scared people they would buy <laughs> i don't know hello we're selling clouds today you want to buy some okay. all right we're selling clouds yeah we're selling clouds no Damn, this is honestly like a dream come true. What's your name, by the Sophie. way? Sophie. Sophie, awesome. Yeah. Let's go, Sophie! <clears throat> yeah, so uh, Sophie bought a cloud. So I need to sign it first. Here you go. We're not. Yay! I'm like speechless right now. This is, <laughs> this is too great. We thought Sophie was so cool that we've wow. added an employee. Wow. There's a customer. You want to buy clouds? Buy a cloud? Only $5? See these clouds right here? They're about to go away. But you can buy one right now. <laughs> After that, we took to the streets to get more sales. Hey, man. You look like a fun guy. Do you want to buy a cloud? No, it's We noticed we weren't the only ones hustling for money that day. We're selling clouds. How much for this one there? Five dollars. Five dollars? So you get a certificate, real certificate, picture of it, and you can name it. That's the best idea ever. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Hey guys, we're selling clouds. Do you want to buy some clouds? Buy clouds? How yeah. do you sell it? Yeah, like there's a cloud over there. That one's free. Do you want to buy that cloud? You can name the cloud. What do you want to name this one? Um, unicorn? Unicorn, <laughs> then you can get this, you'll get a picture, All right. and you'll get a certificate like this. Oh, that's fun. So, yeah, it's so $5. Okay, sure. Really? I'll give 10. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, oh. hold on, let me give you like, uh, like, yeah. Shake it. Shake it like shake a Polaroid, like yeah. This. Here, uh, give me a handshake, right. you have this, whoop, whoop. and I'll hold this like this, and then, yeah, let's go. So at the end of the day, we made around $65. I think it's fair to say that this business idea was a success, right? Yeah, success. Next, I'm going to do a tour guide. Tourists are ready to throw away their money at literally any given chance, but the market is very competitive. So I thought, when is absolutely no one doing tours? Well, during a storm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna give the tour away for free and we will ask for tips at the end. We do accept tips if you want to tip us. Oh my God. I actually brought this clipboard to look more professional, but all it has is dollar signs, every single page. That's the goal, guys. This is the goal money i also printed out some flyers to help with the pitch sorry guys do you want free tours no. as per usual it wasn't going well at first oh my god lost my flyers um yeah i don't know what happened but it was not going well there's so much wind i can't do this what then we're offering free tours around the city it's like a storm tour we only come out during the storm <laughs> It is free, but we take tips or something. They actually agreed to do the tour. So we hurried to find more people to join. We won't keep you waiting too long, so. But a familiar trend followed. You have something else to do. What can be better than this? But you can't say no to an opportunity of a lifetime, right? They're still waiting. Hang in there, guys. Hey, you guys want free tours? Around the city, it's for free. With no one else interested, we hurried to our only customers with some good news. So you guys are in luck. Yeah. You're even better so your tour just upgraded to a private guided tour oh amazing amazing so we got going uh, it was built in 1945 next stop of the tour was actually my friend's shop the corner market we're doing a tour guide do you have welcome some? welcome to corner market we are open 24 hours you don't close uh... so the customers were actually starting to doubt my tour guiding skills so my friend helped out he guided me so many places he showed me a lot of places this guy it's like where? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, the place that we you remember yes i remember this right here is the addition hotel notable people who have stayed in here are lebron james and others it was going way beyond expectations and they were having the time of their lives so we headed to the final location of the tour Thank you guys for the tour, but I have a reveal. You may not know this, but I'm not actually a tour guide. What? Um, <laughs> crazy. So it's free, but we do accept tips if you want to tip us. Okay, cool. So cool. keep that in mind Perfect. as our only customers. <laughs> and no, no pressure. So they didn't tip us, but we got smiles on people's faces. And that's all that matters. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's, it's well, it's not all about the money. 
with that being said, on to the next money-making method. <laughs> so that was a fail, <laughs> but this next one will be huge. It's a bit out there, so just bear with me, okay? So next, I'm going to do a chicken rent chicken rental. How was that transition? So I drove to my grandma's farm and paid the chickens a visit. So basically, my whole idea is to take a chicken to the streets and rent it for $10 per 20 minutes. <laughs> Guys, do you mind keeping it down over there? I went in very afraid, so I tried getting them on my side with some food. I just needed to pick a chicken to go with me on this adventure. The question is, who is the lucky one? Okay, cut, cut. Go to the next. Just go to the next scene. With one side hustle left and a far way to $1,000, I had one more idea. So my idea is to host a pro pillow fight event. <laughs> basically, the whole idea I have is to rent some venue and basically just put two guys on the floor and make them fight each other with pillows. <laughs> I decided to make the event free, but sell drinks and snacks. Now it's just about how we get the people to the event. Okay, this is gonna be like a lot of work to prepare. I better get started. I started by designing the logo. I'm very proud of it. Please give me recognition for it. For the venue, I found this boxing place and I checked it out. I kind of felt like an idiot walking up to these boxers who were very serious about their training. Yeah, so we can have this from now? Yeah, no problem. Okay, okay. We sealed the deal. Venue, check. Next, I got some snacks to make the money. And I channeled my inner granny and baked cupcakes as well. For the cupcake decor, I went with a pillow. Then I picked out an award. It says winner on it, so you know it's legit. Finally, I printed out some flyers and got to getting people people to go pillow fighting. Yes. It may or may not be free. We are uh, pro pillow fighting. Okay. I take it, yeah. Will you get right. pillows? Don't we have to take ours? No, we oh, have no. pillows. Ah, you, you have, <laughs> bring pajamas, that would be funny. We arrived at the venue and again, I felt like a weirdo. Is anyone even gonna show up to this thing? But soon enough, people showed up. Ready for the award? <laughs> Yeah, I won't. Actually, a lot of people showed up. Too many people. <laughs> but little did they know that the real star of the show was actually the snacks. <clears throat> Sorry. Do you want to buy? I don't, I don't have money. You don't have? Well, I didn't think about that. No glasses, bro. <laughs> you have glasses? Okay, okay, let's go. Hey, we made glasses today. You want a pillow cupcake, right? Yes, you do. We got our first sale tonight. So we have our official for the game, Adam. You're in charge yeah. of nobody dying tonight. I'm not gonna be liable. It's gonna be you. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not liable. <laughs> I'm not liable. We started the tournament and people were way too into it. Sorry. <laughs> 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 So it was starting out well. The fight was good. Um, the cupcakes were good as well. <laughs> yeah. The winner is... Yes. Let's go. Don't destroy the pillows. I'm kind of worried about them. I don't have more. <laughs> I don't have more. <laughs> we played a bunch of more matches and more chaos followed. Even I gave it a spin. It was getting very intense. But back to the snacks. You want to buy? Yes. What do you want? Uh, cupcake. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. And you want the cupcake? Yes. <laughs> let's go. And sales kept pouring in. All right. Enjoy your drink, man. All right. Enjoy the drink, man. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Back to the pillows. It's time for the finals. You're in the finals. What do you think of it? Yeah, I don't know what to say. You're in the finals. What are you, are you gonna win? Yeah, I won a win. I... Because, because I won. <laughs> and so the final started. Who wins this trophy? That's the question. You won the real plastic trophy. Yeah, boy! It's mine. Here you go, man. <laughs> uh, no chocolate, okay. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I was pretty bummed at first that we got nowhere close to $1,000. But after looking back on the video, I think maybe this was a different story. Just go out and do stuff, and you will have some of the best memories of your life.